So as we're getting ready to start creating digital negatives, the first thing that we need to do is inside of Photoshop, we're going to be printing a step test negative. So on my USB stick, I've got a file here. It says negative step table gamma 1.8. So I'm going to go ahead and double click and that'll open up inside of Photoshop. And then a couple of things we're going to be looking at uh, inside of Photoshop, just as we're kind of getting familiar, is this is a step test and it has all sorts of squares that have known values. Now we're looking at a negative, so the zero values in our info palette over here is going to be reading the black value, which in this case the zero is actually reading 100 and the 100 is reading zero. And then all of the other values correspond, so 97 is giving us a value of 3. As we print it, these will then become the black values and these darker ones will become our white values. Now, we could print this just the way that it is, but uh, all of our numbers are going to read backwards. So I would suggest as you're making your step test that you take a second and take this and say image and rotate canvas and flip horizontal. That way, as we print this image, all of our numbers will be kind of reversed. And then I'll go ahead and just move this back over to the top of our document. I'm printing this so that it'll be about, oh, four and a half inches or so, so it'll fit easily on our pieces of paper that we're going to create. And we can get two on a single sheet of paper, because we're going to be creating one now and one after we've generated our step curve. So in order to print this, we're going to do it in the same method that we would normally print. So we're going to say File and Print. And because it's a horizontal, we'll go ahead and change our rotation. We're not going to do any sort of scaling. And like all of our papers, we're going to be changing this from printer manages color to Photoshop manages color. And for the printer profile on this one, I'm going to be using Pro Premium Glossy Photo Paper. And then the other thing that we need to change is inside of print settings. We're going to be selecting from where it says layout, printer settings. And our media type is going to be photo paper, premium, glossy. So we're going to be premium, photo paper, glossy. And then we are going to be choosing advanced black and white. And from here, instead of the 1400, I'm going to be selecting the 2880. And just make sure that high speed is unchecked and that finest detail is checked. And then say save. And then remember most of the settings from the last time that I've done this. And then in order to print, we're going to just be hitting the print button in just a second. And so the paper that we're going to be using is a Pictorico OHP. And this one is 8.5 by 11. It comes in all sorts of sizes, so it's a really good uh, negative sheet to, to kind of work with the transparency film. Uh, they make it even in roll sizes. So again, with the digital negative, one of the great things is once we kind of get familiar with using these, the, the curve that we create can then be scaled up. So you could make any size print that you wanted. The only trick with using the transparency paper is just like when you're printing a 4x5 negative, we need to make sure that we load this into the printer so that it's on the emulsion side. So on the film, in the top right hand corner, there's going to be a notch. So if we look on here, there's a little notch on that corner. So that indicates if this is in the top right hand side, that that is the emulsion facing towards us. So as we load this into the printer, we'll just drop that in there. And we want to make sure that that corner is visible to us in that top right hand corner. Once that's loaded, then over here in our printer, we can go ahead and hit print, and we'll send that on through. 